going to take a, a Steely Dan song and I'm going to play the original a little bit and then I'm going to show you some variations of it and then after I'm finished I'm going to go explain to you why that actually makes sense. I know that a lot of people say, you know, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, but there actually are, is some connection, you know, to all of this. So, let's see. Um, you can never have enough guitar picks. Um, so here's a little, this is, I'm just going to play a tune and sing a little bit of it. It's a, it's a Steely Dan tune called Mile School, which was a song that we had a lot of success for with a few years ago. And it's ostensibly a rock and roll song. So. I remember the 35 sweet goodbyes. With you on the Wolverine up to Annandale. Still remember the 35 sweet goodbyes. Find me with the working girls up in Annandale. Now that's a rock and roll tune, it's got rock and roll changes, you know, you set the guitar tone to sound like it, it's a rock and roll, but what happened, what would happen if you took the same song and you said, okay, well, uh, I'm not a rock and roll guitar player, actually I'm a jazz guitar player, and uh, you know, instead of uh, Elvis Presley and Chuck Berry, my heroes are John Coltrane and, uh, you know, Dizzy Gillespie and Django Reinhardt, Charlie Christian, so how would I go about doing that? Well. First thing you would do is you would set the tone, and, and you actually would set the tone of the instrument. On the one hand, you know, using a very sharp sound here. So I guess what you'd want to use is start off with a really nice mellow, you know, tone. So you'd just take the same changes that you would have in the song, but you would substitute different chords for them because in music there are a number of ways to do that. So instead of a rock and roll song, you'd have something like. Uh, I remember the 35 sweet goodbyes when you put me on the Wolverine up to Annandale. I still remember that it was quite surprised to find you with the working girls in the county jail. Now it's the same song, same lyric, but the approach is different. Now, what happens if, uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in another jelly donuts, Red. Anyway, so what would happen if, say, well, I don't know anything about jazz, and I'm not a big rock and roll kind of guy, so, uh, uh, but I'm a country guy. I come from Nashville, and I do a lot of picking, and, you know, for me, it's uh, not about that rock and roll crap. It's not about that jazz stuff. It's, uh, I'm a picker, so. <laughs> I remember 35 sweet goodbyes when you put me on the Wolverine and I still remember. Yeah, I do. When we were the working girls in the county jail. Talk about the boys upstairs when I heard about the whole affair. I said, whoa, no, William and Mary won't do. I did not think the girl would be so cruel. And I did not think the girl. So it's a country song, you know. So that's what I like about music. It can be anything you want it to be. So how does that relate to anything? You know, it's fun to play the guitar, but how does that relate to the work that I do uh, uh, for the United States government? And uh, the prequel for this will be, uh, we're going to have a Q&A after. And uh, the only uh, prerequisites would be I'm not going to answer any questions about anything that's classified, and I'm not going to answer any questions about Barbara Streisand. Other than that, whatever, you know, you take your best shot.